SPACs. Companies are turning to blank check mergers to go public more than ever before. Just this year, there have been more than 550 SPACs so far, which is more than all of 2020, when more than $83 billion flooded into the space. So with the, with the SPAC product really gaining emergence in the equity markets because of what's gone on in the IPO process, you know, is our, is our ecosystem of clients and borrowers, our, our SPAC issuers, we want to make sure that we have the tools to respond to them. But the SPAC boom is seeing some bumps in the road. A blank check company might get you public, but thus far the returns after you get the deal done haven't been all that impressive. One index that tracks SPACs is down 20% since its February high. Fading trading volumes and the possibility of tighter monetary conditions are taking a toll on companies that went public through blank check mergers. Bubble is not just something about one stock rising. It's a concept. It's about the fact that everyone believes in some new, new thing, that this concept is here to stay and about to change the world. So it is, uh, as I say, a good idea gone too far. SPACs provide a shortcut to the stock market, which businesses seeking to go public are eager to take. On the other side of the equation, investors in SPACs have the chance to score a big gain, but know that they'll get their money back if the SPAC doesn't meet its deadline in getting a big deal done. It evens the playing field. It democratizes access to high growth companies. How? Because it allows retail and it allows long tail institutional investors, <clears throat> folks that may not have necessarily been tier one hedge funds, Regulators have struggled to keep up with the SPAC craze, and now the SEC is taking a closer look, at least at the disclosure issues. Investors in blank check companies give cash to sponsors before they know what company they will be investing in. It's really making sure that the sponsor who's behind that is fully disclosing their uh, take on it. These are very expensive, dilutive products. Another concern with SPACs is that companies can pitch to investors based on their forward-looking financials, which isn't allowed in a traditional IPO. It's those disclosures ensuring that the retail investors get the right disclosures and are protected and somebody's not misleading them, and secondarily, that they're participating just like the, the institutional investors. 